Hello everyone and welcome back to the Great Book of Grudges. My name is Nathan and we're back with a Total War Warhammer video. Today we're going to talk about the Warriors of Chaos, a faction which is still yet to receive its update and should in theory receive a rather large one. Now this video isn't to talk about a possible rework that we've already discussed before, but instead it's talking about the problem in terms of its roster. You see, the Warriors of Chaos themselves suffer from a very samey roster, and will continue to do so even if a majority of its missing units from 8th edition downwards gets implemented into Total War Warhammer. Most of the minis implemented into the Warriors of Chaos roster were always designed in a neutral sense. This is so they could easily be painted in various colours to represent either Chaos Undivided or various other Chaos Gods. The problem with that, however, is that everything really looks the same. It's reskinned unit after reskinned unit. It's a bit of a shame to think that we might see some implementations of God-specific units, which will just be, for example, of course, Green Chaos Warriors for Nurgle, Pink Chaos Warriors for Sunesh, Blue for Zinch, and Red for Corn. it's still the same unit, it's just got a different armor color. And while yes, some units were implemented to be god-specific, we did have some Sunesh Riders, and obviously in the end times we had a few units implemented for Corn and Nurgle, not a lot was actually done. It is very likely that we could see some DLC for DLC introduced for the Warriors of Chaos in the future, as Creative Assembly did test out that method with the Twisted and the Twilight. So, who's to say that we won't see it for Warriors of Chaos? While they might not have the most impressive roster of units left to introduce, there is a few ways they can go around it. Firstly and obviously, they can look towards the End Times roster, as they've already been introducing stuff from the End Times little by little. Of course, I'm referring to units such as the Wrathmongers for Corn or Putrid Blight Kings for Nurgle. Of course, there are already some vanilla units from 8th edition, such as the Skullcrushers or even the Hellstriders of Sunesh, which could be added in too. All are good choices in all honesty, but it really doesn't fill out a sub-faction rank within Chaos Undivided for the Warriors of Chaos. One or two new units being added in still doesn't really give you a proper feel, even if you do recolor a certain amount of new units just to make it feel like it's part of a sub-faction. And there really wouldn't be enough units to justify a certain god-specific pack. Say for example, a Warriors of Chaos Cornite DLC. There would be the Skullcrushers, the Wrathmongers, and I believe one or two more units added in through the end times. That's four units, which more or less would be perfectly fine, but you wouldn't be able to get that many units with, say, Nurgle, Zinch, or Sunesh. Sunesh in question, as far as I can remember, for the Warriors of Chaos of course, only has the Hellstriders of Sunesh missing from their roster. That is a fast cavalry unit, which is more or less fulfilling the same role as the Marauder Horseman. Let's not dwell too much on that, but as you can see, a Core Knight DLC is very much more likely than that for a Suneshi one for the Warriors of Chaos. Which, in my opinion, is a shame. In a perfect world, we'll be able to get multiple DLCs, each focused on their own specific Chaos God, and, in truth, there might be a way to do so. Now, bear in mind, what I'm about to suggest is purely hypothetical, and almost borderline heretical, if not already so. Now, please hear me out before you switch off. Games Workshop, during the Age of Sigmar now, have been expanding into all the Chaos Gods with Sunesh very recently seeing some new units being announced. An almost complete roster. Some have been shown where others are still waiting to be revealed, though some little snippets here and there have been revealed by Games Workshop. Zinch itself also had a bit of a roster expansion, with some god-specific units that are also mortal. The only one so far yet to receive any proper love 
would be in the form of Nurgle, which yes, had some new characters revealed in the Warhammer Underworlds Beastgrave expansion, where three new characters were introduced which had a specific new style. Possible new models in the future, I hope. So why not have these models introduced into Total War Warhammer as extra units for the Warriors of Chaos in possible DLC content? Yes, I am aware that a lot of people who view my videos aren't too keen on Age of Sigma, and I'll be very honest, I'm not too keen on it myself. But it is difficult to deny that these models do not look good, and they indeed do look like they are very thematic in terms of their respective Chaos Gods. These models fit perfectly in the theme of Warhammer Fantasy Battles. I've even seen a lot of people use those models in 8th edition Warhammer by creating some homebrew rules that fit rather well into the theme. These aren't units like the Sigmarines, which yes, would not fit in whatsoever, but these Warriors of Chaos themselves would fit rather well. With the possibility of all these units being added in, well then that gives more possibility to the point of more DLC for Warriors of Chaos. This could mean that we'll see more legendary lords, legendary heroes, and more importantly, factions which will represent the different Chaos Gods. And no, Sigvald does not really count as a Chaos Lord of Sinesh. While he is, in all intents and purposes, he really much just acts as a Chaos Lord of Undivided. I still believe that he should have been added in with a future Sunesh DLC, and they could have implemented some other character like, say, Krom the Conqueror instead. Of course, nobody likes reskins, and it would be a massive shame if that was the only alternative. Sure, once again, Age of Sigma is a bit of a sore subject, but I still honestly really believe that these units could work out rather well. But what do you guys think? Do you think that these units could be added in? Do you think they could work well for Total War Warhammer? Or do you think that Age of Sigma is downright heretical and deserves to be left with Age of Sigma? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below and let's start a bit of a discussion. But with that my friends we've come to the end of our video, thank you so much for watching, if you did enjoy the video might I suggest giving the video a like or even subscribing to the channel as it really does help us out. In the description section below are various links to different social media platforms such as Facebook, Instagram and Discord. Also in the description section is an affiliate link with Element Games where you could buy loads of hobby based products, not just Warhammer, for 10-25% to off. Making a purchase using that link and also our special code which is also in the description supports the channel at no extra cost to you, which we think is rather cool. A big thank you to our patrons, your support means the world to us, it's amazing that people want to help a small channel like us grow and get to our higher level of content. A big thank you to Gibraltar LUSC, Ryan Birch, Andrew Prince and Okro for subscribing to us at our fame level, you guys are super cool. And a big thank you to Edward Yule, VS Fasan, Aaron Whitman and Shaggy for subscribing to us at our king level, honestly we can't thank you all enough. And lastly, a big thank you to all of you for liking, sharing and commenting on these videos. Honestly, it's because of you guys that the channel has been growing at such a great pace lately, so we can't thank you all enough. But with that my friends, thank you so much for watching once again, and we shall see you all again very very soon. Have a good day.